Christy Farney was six years old when she disappeared in December 1978. Investigators say she was walking from her foster parents' home to Jackson Elementary School. But it wasn't until several hours later when anyone realized something wasn't normal. No clues, no leads, nothing was pointing toward Christy Farney. Interviews with the foster family, Christy's biological father, and even door-to-door -door knocks on neighbors' doors turned up nothing. Investigators saying they couldn't find anything suspicious that could lead to a definitive answer. It was just like everybody was frantic and trying to find Christy, but there was nothing that developed, you know what I'm saying? It was just, we never got a, a solid lead from anybody. Christy and her brother James were in foster care after being removed from their biological father's care, who, according to reports, was facing allegations of physical abuse. James, of course, still wonders what happened to Christy and understands time doesn't heal all wounds. I was angry. I'm still angry. That was my sister. James was only two years older than Christy, eight years old when she vanished, leading to a lifetime of unanswered questions and heartache. She was everything to me. To lose her, it killed a part of me that will never return. Despite hope something will come up in this unsolved case, anything that can provide a conclusion to this decades-long pain, there's a bitter feeling sitting in the back of James's mind. I'm afraid that the day I get the answer is the day I die. And that hurts. She was my best friend. James Dean is a father now. He told me his sister's disappearance has only taught him to be more protective of his own family, saying that he's seen the evil in this world and he's only trying to teach his son how to be protective of his own kids as he gets older. In Medford, Gio Insignares, Newswatch 12.